Let's look at another example of the addition rule here. Uh, we are going to draw one card from a well shuffled normal deck. S is the event it's a spade, Q a queen, and R the event that it's red. We want to find the probability that it's a spade or a queen. So first let's see if the events spade and queen are mutually exclusive. Is there any overlap? So let's take a look. So our spades are right here. And then our queens are right here. And we can see that there is one card in the overlap, the queen of spades. So we need to use the regular addition rule here. This is going to be probability the card is a spade plus probability the card is a queen. And then we're going to subtract out the probability that it's a spade and a queen. So spades, there are 13 spades out of 52 cards, desired out of total, equally likely sample space, plus uh, queens, probability queen, there are four queens out of 52. And then we subtract out our overlap, uh, spade and queen, there is one card that was queen of spades out of 52, which gives us 16 out of 52. Uh, probability spade or red. Let's take another look. So our spades are these 13 cards here in the first row. Red cards are the next two rows, so there's 26 cards. There's no overlap between the spades and the red cards. So this will be multiplication rule for mutually exclusive events. So we just take the probability of spades and we add probability that it's a red card and that's it nothing to subtract out here. So spades, there are 13 out of 52, plus red cards, half the cards are red, 26 out of 52. And adding our numerators, uh, 39 out of 52, or 0.75, or 75% if you want a percentage. 